All right, hosses. So now that we saw what page analysis was, essentially whenever you want to analyze this one page, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and move on to crawls. So crawls, as you can expect, it pretty much allows you to enter your website's homepage and then it crawls all of your pages. Now again, I'm not gonna recommend crawling all of the pages on your website and that's because a lot of the time you don't need to. For example, if you look at my profile right here, say that I analyzed this page and found a bunch of problems with it. Well, the problems on my profile are gonna be the same on you know Sally's profile and they're gonna be the same on Harris's profile. So again, even though I have a lot of pages and I wanna improve them all, I don't need to scan everyone's profile because it's always gonna give me the same results. So just type it in here and you can actually limit the pages you wanna scan using this dropdown. And then if you hit crawl, it's gonna go ahead and start. I actually already did one yesterday. So, you know, I didn't think you guys wanna just wait for it to scan while I talk about nothing for two minutes. So I'll save you some time. So I scanned this and I believe this was 100 pages. So check this out. So just like before, whenever you scan your website, the results are gonna be broken up into a bunch of different sections. The first one is just an overview. So of all the pages that scan, I got this score of 52 out of 100. Not that great, not really proud of that, but that's what that is. Now again, you really wanna spend your time into these individual sections that's going to give you details on what exactly you need to improve. So the first one is this indexation. Pretty cool word. So what this section essentially does is it checks for broken links. Now a broken link is, let's say we have a link um, like this link, but it was either incorrect. Maybe I, whenever I was making the website, I typed in the URL wrong, or maybe it links to a page that doesn't exist anymore, or maybe it just doesn't link to anything, those are all broken links, links that don't work as they should. Now, a general rule is you wanna have zero broken links on your page. And the reason for that is if Google scans your page and it sees you have a bunch of broken links, it's gonna look like your website isn't maintained and it hasn't been updated in a while. So that's what broken links indicate, so you definitely don't want any of those. And it's also good not to have a lot of redirects. So a redirect is basically something like this. You see how whenever I go to www.thenewboston.com, it pretty much redirects me to the non-www version. And that's actually useful in a lot of different instances. Maybe you have an old domain name like the newboston.bacon and you just want everyone to redirect to the newboston.com. So that's what that is, but in general, you don't want any of those or as little as possible. Now we can see that I have one right here that whenever someone goes to the newboston.com slash forum, it just redirects them to the forum homepage, which is essentially this page right here. So again, this isn't a file, it's actually a directory. So that's why it does that. And again, you wanna make sure that you have 200 almost everywhere. That just means that it's a link that works properly, resource okay. So if you have a bunch of 401, that means that it doesn't exist. Um, 300 are your redirects, tomato, tomato. So no broken links, textual content. So what this is, is essentially whenever it scans your website, let me go back to my homepage. Actually, let's go this way, all right. So whenever it scans your website, it's gonna gather information about the keywords on every page that it scans. So it's gonna scan this page, and then it's gonna to go to uh, you know, the videos page, scan this page, and gather up all of the keywords. And that's what this section is right here. So in general, like I said before, you want a lot of keywords that are gonna be good ranking factors. So if you see that your most used keywords are things like you know, <laughs> they don't even relate to videos or tutorials or computer programming, then that's probably not good. You probably want to work on that. But uh, yeah, and another really awesome thing, aside from just seeing what are the most used keywords on your site, is you can actually break it down into all the pages. So here are all of the pages that Site Analyzer scanned, and it looks a little bit funny, and that's just because I increased the zoom for just my videos, 
but you know it doesn't really look like this if you were just to go to the site so every single page what it does is it tells you all right here's your text to code ratio you usually want this a lot higher than mine are right here again my site's kind of weird because i have videos and you know the point of a video is like so you don't have to like read a book or so you can learn in a different kind of way so that's my excuse okay guys so so for why mine is so awful so you usually want this a lot higher than mine and also on every single page it tells you what keywords are used most so say that you were trying to um, boost your home page for maybe programming lessons that's the keyword I want to try to target because that's where all the users are searching for on Google well, I can see that my top keywords right here they don't even include the word lessons so that's something I want to work on and it's cool so um, I have a section for like, uh, let's see, food right here. I'll show you guys it real quick. So here are all the video tutorials and courses about cooking and food. And now I can see, all right, so these are the keywords and video tutorials, tutorial, Laura video. Well, that's not really good. I should probably try to target something like, um, cooking lessons or cooking courses, um, food tutorials, something like that. So it's really helpful in again not only an overall overview of your entire site but the individual pages to make sure that they are optimized as well so let's go ahead and scroll back up and click on duplicate 